Jhulalongkorn graduation convocation ceremony is an important ceremony for all Jhula graduates. His Majesty King Pumipon Adulia Dead the Great had always graciously presided over the ceremony during his reign. If he was unable to attend the ceremony, Her Royal Highness Princess Mahachakri Sirinthorn would preside over the ceremony at Jhulalongkorn University on behalf of His Majesty the King. Since succeeding his father, the late King Pumipun Adulia Dead the Great and ascending the throne as monarch, His Majesty King Mahawachira Lungkorn, Prawachira Klao Chao Yuhua, has graciously designated Her Royal Highness Princess Mahachakri Sirinthorn to attend the commencement ceremony of Jhulalongkorn University on his behalf. In order to make sure that the ceremony are conducted properly, the university sets up a committee to supervise the whole ceremony every year. To ensure that things run smoothly, and since there is a certain amount of protocol involved in ceremonies of this nature, graduates are requested to observe the following. Graduates who will receive their diplomas in the morning ceremony need to be at the meeting place no later than 6 a.m. Those who will take part in the afternoon ceremony have to be at the meeting place at 11 a.m. The meeting place is located on the driveway at the rear side of the auditorium. At the meeting place, graduates must form themselves in lines as assigned during the rehearsal. The Ajans, lecturers who are in charge, will check the names and the order in the lines. About two hours before the ceremony commences, the first graduate will start approaching the auditorium. For security reason, each person is required to walk past a metal detector device. All mobile phones or other electronic communication devices are not allowed inside the auditorium. Graduates have to report their numbers and names to the lecturer who is in charge of the final check before entering the auditorium to take their seats. This is the final point of checking. Those who arrive late will not be permitted to attend the ceremony. Upon entering the auditorium, the graduates will be supervised when taking their seats. Those who have urgent needs such as to use the restroom must first take their seats, otherwise there will be no seat available on their return. At 8.30 a.m. for the morning ceremony, and likewise 1.30 p.m. for the afternoon ceremony, the CU Chorus will start the program performing university songs for the graduates. By that time, graduates must already be at their seats. After the arrival of Her Royal Highness, the President of the University will first present a report and call upon the Dean of each faculty and school to announce the names of the graduates. Graduates will be given a signal to rise from their seats. The lecturer in charge will raise his or her arm as a signal for you to stand up. He or she will pause for a few seconds to make sure that all graduates have risen. Then, he or she will turn his or her hand and lower the arm as a signal for taking a bow or courtesy. The signal will be given row by row. After paying respects to Her Royal Highness, each graduate will turn left and start moving from his or her own seat to form a line and get ready to receive the diploma. Graduates must be in line approaching the stage. The lecturers who give signal to the graduates will stand at the beginning of each row on the left-hand side of the graduates. For the graduates who are seated on the second floor, the lecturers will be standing at the end of the row on the right-hand side of the graduates. On the stage, there are 10 positions on stage plus one on the platform. Each point will be marked except for point number 10. While there's one graduate standing at point zero, the next graduate will be walking on the ground level. There will be no graduate standing on the stairs. There are approximately two steps between each position. When graduates step onto the stage, they should make sure that they turn themselves facing the princess who is seated at the center of the stage. Each one on stage will move in rhythm, synchronizing each pause and each step. As one person moves from one point to another, the next in line 
will take over his or her position consecutively. Point 7 is right in front of Her Royal Highness. As graduates move from point 7 to 8, they must look at the mark of point 8. As they step on the mark, or point number 8, they must take a bow or courtesy immediately. Then graduates will take another two steps to point 9. This is the most important spot. Graduates must be sure that they are right at the mark, or point number 9, stand straight and look at the diploma as given by the princess. Then, raise his or her right arm to the edge of the diploma, take hold of the diploma, and then fold your right arm to put the diploma attached to your chest. After taking hold of the diploma, graduates must take three steps backward and stop to take a bow or courtesy. Do not turn your back to the princess. After taking a bow or courtesy, turn right and walk down the stage. As graduates arrive at the row of their seats, they have to turn to the princess, take a bow or courtesy, and then enter the row. Upon arriving at each one's seat, they have to take another bow or courtesy. Altogether, graduates must take bow or courtesy five times throughout the entire process. First, when they stand up from their seats, twice on stage, at point number 8 and 10 after receiving the diploma. The fourth one is before entering the row on their return to their seats and the fifth one is at the seats right before sitting down. After the last graduate receives his or her diploma and descends from stage, all graduates must take part in the oath-taking ceremony. One graduate will lead the ceremony. As they walk from the side of the auditorium approaching the microphone, all graduates must stand up and take a bow or courtesy. After the speech, all graduates will sing the royal anthem. At the end of the song, all take a bow or courtesy. Then the princess will pay homage to the Buddha image. As she turns to face the graduates in the auditorium, all must take a bow or courtesy once again to pay their respects. Her Royal Highness will then leave the stage, and this marks the end of the ceremony in the auditorium. Graduates will leave the auditorium on the right and the left doors and proceed to the front lawn, right in front of the statues of King Rama V and the VI, to offer their respects and show gratitude to the founders of Chulalongkorn University. This marks the completion of the convocation ceremony.